Hey YouTube, Tan Brolo here. I'm gonna make a video today about my Cohen E7 headphones. These are very popular, kind of a low cost, uh, decent performing headphone. These are old and beat up now. I probably bought them four or five years ago. This is the first gen version, um, chrome color, and then the second gen, they changed up the color design slightly, but the hardware is all the same. Um, anyway, decent headphones. But the problem that I now have is the batteries are just done. In these, they've been uh, my, my daily use headphones. Um, if you ever buy these, the swivels are very known to break. So I super glued the swivels years ago. The faux leather, it's a vinyl cover. It does start to flake off. So, you know, th these are very well used headphones. But Hardware wise, they still work perfectly and um, I'm, I'm frugal with electronics. Why throw away stuff that can still work? And these are beat up, but I don't care. I put them on and they work. So the issue is the, the battery now. I looked online and couldn't find anything on YouTube quickly that just showed how to replace the battery on these. So I figured it out last night. I'm gonna make a video. So the way these Cohen headphones work, the controls are on the right ear. That's where the switch is right here. If you can see on off switch is here, the headphones. The battery sits on in the other ear. So it's on the left side. And the way to get it off is by removing, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, so do you see the ring? You can see it right here. There's a ring that goes around. Um, that just pops off. And the only thing that's holding it on is some glue. So if you just get a butter knife or whatever you have and just kind of work at that, I'm gonna show you because I already did it on this one. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's popped off. Here's the cover, all right? Here's what's holding it in. There's four little mounting brackets, not held in with screws, it's just glue. So all you have to do is pry and this is going to pop right off. There's the battery, okay? And the battery in this one is swollen and old and it's definitely due. So then the next question is, where do you get a replacement battery? And the way to do that is go onto eBay or Amazon or whatever. And what you wanna do is punch in this number. You don't need the AR on the end. You want 523450 and you'll find a bunch of batteries. They have to be 3.7 volt. You'll find some online that are 750 milliamp. You can also find 1000 milliamp that's the same size. So that, that's what you need. It has to be 3.7 3 volt, 750 or higher. And as an example, I just popped onto eBay and I found this listing. Um, I don't know this seller, it's someplace in China, but battery costs under $8. And if you check the measurements, here we go, the measurements are right there. I checked with my tape measure, that's the exact measurement of the batteries in an E7. It's uh, five millimeters thick and 34 millimeters wide, 50 millimeters long. So that's it. If you find any battery that uh, is the right size and um, if you check the listing, there's that number I mentioned, right? Five, three, Sorry, five two three four five zero. Five two three four five zero. It's right there. So this battery will fit perfectly. It's eight dollars. Uh, so to get the battery out, it's just held in with a double-sided adhesive. So you just want to kind of pull. There, that comes out. And it's just connected. It's just two wires, black and red. You're going to want to snip those, and you have to solder. So soldering is the way to go. You, you could crimp if you don't have access to soldering iron or know how to do that. You could crimp, but soldering is ideal. So that's all there is to it. It's just a simple battery replacement. It's all in the left ear and you need to find a 3.7 volt battery that I can find on eBay for about $8. So that's it. Do that and the uh, Cohen E7 headphones will last for uh, many more years. I hope that is helpful. Tambrolo signing out.